Got another question on the aromatic chemistry topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so a mechanism to start with. So the first part of the mechanism is the reaction between the two acids. And the purpose of that is to generate this electrophile it's called the nitronium ion. So the next part of the mechanism is the reaction between the methyl benzoate and the electrophile, this nitronium ion. So we take a pair of electrons from the delocalized ring of pi electrons out to the nitrogen of the electrophile. And that generates this um, intermediate. So we show the hydrogen now. So it was already there, but we show it now for the next part of the mechanism. And we draw a partial uh, ring of pi electrons open where the substitution is taking place with a positive charge. Next thing to happen, a pair of electrons from this carbon-hydrogen bond go back to reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons, which gives us the product, this methyl 3 nitrobenzoate and an H plus ion. And the way we show the sulfuric acids behaving as a catalyst, we take the H plus ion that's just been generated and this HSO4 minus ion that was generated in that first step, combine them together and you reform the sulfuric acid. So the fact that it's reformed is showing that it's acting as a catalyst. And the type of mechanism is electrophilic substitution. So moving on to the flow chart now. So we had the name for this methyl 3 amino benzoate. So basically all that's changed is the nitro group has become an amino group. And to bring about that reduction of the nitro group to the amino group, we need to react the nitro arene with a mixture of tin and concentrated HCl. So I've gone back to the flow chart to explain what's going on in reaction four, because we've got to say what the reagent is. So we've turned an ester into a carboxylate salt. It's a sodium salt. So we need to hydrolyze this ester bond. And the way we do that is react it with hot aqueous sodium hydroxide. And for the final part of the question, we've got to suggest why this compound here would react with the diazonium ion that's in the flow chart, but benzene wouldn't. Now you'll notice I've drawn a lone pair on the nitrogen, so this is similar to what happens with the lone pair on the oxygen of phenol. So the lone pair on the nitrogen will become delocalized and become part of the pi electron cloud. And that raises the electron density of this pi system. And because of that, it's able to attract the diazonium ion. Whereas in benzene, you don't have anything like this. You've just got the ring. So the pi electrons are all delocalized. The electron density of the ring is low and therefore it can't attract the diazonium ion.